Hi guys, welcome to the fifth video of the Golang Monolith to Microservice project series. And in this video, I want you to open up your package folder, orders folder, and application, and the orders.go file. <clears throat> okay. And here we'll start off by saying package application. We'll import a couple of uh, packages and files, and we'll say, we'll now start uh, creating the outline of some uh, of the main functions for our orders services, okay? So we'll say products service, we need the product service here. It's going to be an interface. And we need our payments service, again interface. I'll leave these empty. And I need my order, order service, which is of type struct. Then we'll start creating the functions that we need. So the function is new orders service as a function. Then place order uh, is the most important function here. So the function to place an order, right? Say place order, it's going to be called place order. And I've kept a bracket here because this is a struct method. So first we'll create that struct and then we'll create the, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so struct is basically going to be order service. So we'll create that struct later on as in the insides of the struct. But here we can write that I'm going to pass S which is an order service. So it's a struct method and it's called place order. Place order command. It's going to accept um, a variable called CMD. This is going to be of type place order command. And place order command is going to be a struct in itself that we'll define in a while. All it does is it turns an error. Okay, and then another function that I need here, think of it as a controller, you know, a controller with all the functions that uh, process the information after the data, the command comes here from the routes. So the, another important function is mark order as paid command. So this is also a struct, which we'll use for which we'll use for our function, which is mark order as paid function. Accept the CMD variable, which is of type mark order as paid command. And here you'll say S and orders service. Returns an error. And then a usual function that we use is get an order by ID. So you pass the ID and you get uh, the data of the order. And it takes an ID, orders.id. And it turns two things, orders.order, comma, error. So two things it's returning. And these two things we are yet to define, so don't worry about this. This ID and order, we are yet to define this. We have not defined it yet. And it's of it's a struct method again of order service type. So this is the outline for our orders function. Okay. And um, now I want you to come to uh, your package folder and common folder and then HTTP folder, the error.go file. So we'll create some uh, outline or either the code directly here. So here we'll say package HTTP. And we'll import and type error response. So we just, in this function, in this uh, file, sorry, 
all we're doing is we're just defining all the different type of functions that we can have, right? So we'll have a struct here, and then we'll have a function to render And it's not a simple function, it's actually a struct method of, then uh, this is the struct, for defining the struct method. It'll take two things, right, w and r. w is of type HTTP dot response writer. And r is star, star HTTP dot request, returns an error. The first function is internal types of errors we'll have. And bad requests. So we'll have two errors, uh, error internal, which will be of type, like which will be like a 500 error. And then we'll have a bad request error. So two standard errors I'm defining out here. A bad request. Okay, and both of these return uh, an error response. So that's the outline, more or less. And as you can see, They're calling render dot renderer. Okay, so we'll import a package. Firstly, we'll import net slash HTTP. Then we'll import GitHub dot com slash go dash g slash render. So that's the render function that we are talking about. Okay. Now in error response struct, actually. Uh, you know, instead of keeping this as an outline, I'll just, I think I'll just complete this file because it's not, there's not much left here. So there's going to be error and in JSON, you'll represent it like this. And you'll put back ticks here instead of single inverted commas. And HTTP status code. So here you'll pass the integer, like 500 error or 404, bad request, those kind of things. Uh, and it'll be like this, JSON. Okay. Then you'll have your app code and your error text. the specific error text that you want to show. We'll say error and omit empty. And here you'll say JSON, code, comma, omit, empty. So this will show us the app code and this will show us the error directly, okay? And this is what we are expecting for an app error response to be like. So using structs, we can define our own method types, our own data type, sorry. So error response is our own uh, variable of, a, of this type of a struct. Uh, sorry, I meant error response is a struct uh, with, with these kind of different, uh, you know, variables inside it. And now we can create variables uh, which are of type error response, for example, E. Okay. Now render method, we'll say render dot status r comma e dot http status code the same one and you can return nil from here and now these error responses can be defined properly so we can say error will be error and http status code http dot status internal server error comma error text is going to be error dot error and comma 
and here similarly we'll have error which is error again HTTP status code status bad request comma error text error dot error comma all right so with that this file is complete all it's doing is it's giving out uh, internal errors in this kind of a format and it's giving out a bad request error perfect so next thing that i want you guys to tackle with me is going to shop folder an application and so that this application will create something so uh, go to shop and application and create a file called product.co okay and here you will create a couple of functions so firstly you'll say package application and you'll import a couple of packages here and the functions that we are concerned about is the first one is all products function so like i said you know think about this file again as a controller file which will have functions like all products and add products and those kind of functions okay so we'll say all products and accept some parameters return some and i have kept a bracket here because this is not going to be a regular function it's going to be a uh, struct method so that's why i've kept it like that okay and you'll have a function called add product so we'll say func add product and this just returns an error all right and now let's start tackling the other things so we'll say type product read model of type interface and type products service which is a struct and so both of these functions right will be uh, struct methods with product service struct and one small change I have to make here is that product service is capital P so I'll make the change everywhere okay and here I'll say all products products dot product comma error and for struct struct has two things one is repo the other is read model and repo will be a products dot repository now um, I have not told you about what the repository does right so this is basically your uh, memory memory where we will be storing data we're not using a database here we're just using a repository which is like an in-memory kind of a, a storage and we'll work on that file shortly and you'll understand completely what that means and this is of type product read model and here for uh, you'll have one more function before all products and there will be new products service function and what this function does is it just returns a product service so you'll say products service okay so these are just the outlines of these three functions so now i think you've understood that this is like a controller file where we'll have a function to list uh, out all our products and a function to add a product 
Now the reason why we ha why we are having to write this kind of a code and not direct code uh, that talks to the database is because we are using a repository, not a database. Repository is basically like a storage where we'll sorry we'll be storing the data, and that's why we're uh, following a different type of a uh, you know um, syntax, and that's why we're using interfaces as well. Okay, and when we'll start building these interfaces, you'll start understanding the type of abstraction we have created. With the help of interfaces, and then, uh, but then it'll be it'll not be clear right now because right now we're just writing the outline. But once we start writing these functions, we, right, when we start writing these interfaces, everything will make a lot more sense. So, uh, one more function uh, that we can go for is going to your shop, and then infra. Inside infra, you'll create another fo folder called products. And you'll create, in products, you'll create a file called memory.co. So we'll say package products. This is basically your, um, the one that you probably got confused about, the repository. And um, products.repository, that's what we'll work for, uh, work on in this memory.co file. So we'll import a couple of a few packages, and we'll create a memory repository. It will be a struct, and we'll define the struct shortly. And we'll have a um, function to save a product, and a function to get a product by ID. Just by ID and a function for all products. So this is the outline for the memory uh, file. So um, since we have worked on quite a few files in this video as well, I'll um, you know end the video here so that you get some time to uh, understand what's happening here. And I'll continue in the next video. I hope you are excited about this project. And do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of the series comes out. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.